Hello. Hello, traveler. You seem to have lost your way. Yes. You're in a part of the forest that's only reserved for elves. Don't worry about it, okay? I'm here to help you. Yes, you do not need to worry about getting out. All I'm going to ask is that you forget every place that I'll take you to. In order to do that, I'm going to have to make a forgetting potion. Are you familiar with that? What it is, it's basically an antidote to your memory. So the way it's going to work is you're going to need certain ingredients. And that will be the only way that you can safely pass through the forest. For you see, not all elves are as kind. Had it been another elf who had found you, you may have been killed by this point. Yes, I'm afraid so. But again, don't worry about it. I will do my best to make sure you have a safe passage. Okay. So, for now, I just need you to relax. We're going to take our time with this. There's no rush. As long as the others know I'm working with you, it shouldn't be a problem. Okay? Right. I'm going to get a little more comfortable. And you can go ahead and wear this. Um, I'm going to put this around you so that you can stay warm. To get cold out here. Yeah. Right. You can go ahead and put it around your legs or your shoulders, wherever is more comfortable for you. Alright? Okay. So what we're going to do is first of all, I'm um, sorry, but I'm going to need just a little saliva from you. I know it's kind of gross, but it's only very little, and it's going to fit right into the potion that I was talking about earlier, which we're going to go ahead and mix in our nice incantation container, okay? So go right ahead. And this is actually a very magical candle that is going to help protect you as you're being guided right into the side of the forest where you belong. Okay? Yes, you don't need to be afraid. As I said earlier, I am here to protect you from any other elves that might want to hurt you. Please, I do not need your money. I am an elf and I have no use for it. To be perfectly honest with you, I'm, I'm in no need for it. What I can offer you are these special things, which you can carry with you as well. And what they're good for is to distract some of the ogres you might find in the rest of the forest. Yes, unfortunately, elves are the least of your worries. <laughs> You're in grave danger here, but I must confess that I don't understand how you even got through the... the 
small ogre field, which I hear is treacherous. Nobody gets out alive. So these are, they have a special smelling salt that actually repels the ogres. Yes, is that something you're interested in as well, taking with you? Yes, thank you. That will actually make my mission a lot easier. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put it right here and it's ready for you, okay? Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a little bit of a um, sensation uh, therapy so that you can keep relaxed because the issue with this potion is that you cannot have an altered state of mind, which is what you seem to be having right now. Um, you seem to be having some, a bit of trouble, kind of processing all the, um, all the things that are going on right now, and I can feel it. Um, and unfortunately, it just makes my job so much more difficult. So. What I'm going to ask you to do is please close your eyes and um, just listen to the sound of my voice. I am going to give you some affirmations which will help you to hopefully either fall asleep or just drift into a more relaxed state. So you are safe. Please repeat that after me. I am safe. I am loved. I will get through this without issue. I will get out of this forest alive and well. Mm -hmm. I have a friend who is guiding me, and I will come through perfectly fine. Yes. You see, I feel your energy is already improving, so I am going to go ahead with the potion. So as I showed you earlier, this magical potion will guarantee your safe passage, okay? Um, something else I might need is actually um, not anywhere near us. It is a blue and red flower that blooms only on certain times of year. And unfortunately for us, it's not blooming at this time of year right now. Um, so I would substitute, I'm going to use a different type of flower, which is um, a dried up rose. And it works very similar uh, to the flower I was describing earlier. Um, and hopefully it will have the same effect. Close your eyes and breathe in the scent of the 
long it's still got a bit of scent in it and it'll relax you right away so go ahead and breathe in See how everything is fine. You do not need to worry, okay? And um, what I'm also going to do for you is I'm going to mix in a bit of unicorn blood, which I believe also repels ogres, which, as you know, can be very dangerous. Bit of unicorn blood that I already have prepared. Luckily, I carry it with me. <laughs> yes, even the elves have to be mindful of ogres. They can sneak up on us, and if we don't have our magic shields with us, it's very difficult to sort of repel them. And this works very well. You want to know where I got the unicorn blood? Well, actually, it was given to me as a gift by my sister. Um, she she did not put the unicorn, if that's what you're wondering. Um, they actually um, sell part of the unicorn blood in special elf shops and the way they do it is, once the unicorn has reached the end of its life, then you have the option of draining him, his body, from its blood that's still good. And if you're lucky enough to find one, then you can sell the blood for quite a bit of money. Um, yes. Um, elves. Even though we don't spend money on, on different things, we do uh, on occasion have to deal with other elves who do. Um, they are more greedy in that sense, um, and they require some some monetary payment. They often like to travel to the human world, and that's where they spend. Lots of the cash. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to put a few drops, it's really all we need, into the potion. And I think that's it. I think we're ready. Um, for best measures, I guess if you find a bird such as a blue jay or maybe a raven uh, on the way we will ask it if it would be willing to donate uh, one of its feathers which will make the potion a lot stronger um, but again you will feel safer um, regardless of whether we find the bird or not but um, I hope that this was able to um, keep you calm. I feel your energy is definitely improving and you are definitely um, going to feel safer. Okay, I will go with you as far as the old bridge and after that, as long as you walk with this, holding it very steadily in front of should repel any creatures, not just ogres, any creature that might want to hurt you, and it will help you to get back to where you need to be, okay? It's the human village, yes, that's what I figured, um, although uh, it is dangerous for you to come back, I may, uh, on occasion, I'll meet you at the edge of the forest again, if you would like. Maybe I can help you gain passage through the forest if you need to again. I think that might be fun. Great. 
Thank you so much for letting me help you. It really does make my day to help an unfortunate human or any other creature that might need my help. Yes, I hope you have a great journey and we will definitely get you through the forest. safe journey.